Welcome to Senior High School Math Series. Let us have graphing logarithmic functions under General Mathematics, Quarter 1, Week 9. This is based on Curriculum Implementation and Learning Management Matrix for K-12's Most Essential Learning Competencies. Here are our learning competencies. Represents a logarithmic function through its table of values, graph, and equation. Finds the domain and range of logarithmic function. Determines the intercepts, zeros, and asymptotes of logarithmic function. Before we continue, let us ponder on this. Children must be taught how to think, not what to think. This is by Margaret Mead, an American cultural anthropologist. Let us start with the properties of logarithmic function of the form y is equal to logarithm of x to the base b. The domain is the set of all positive real numbers. The range is the set of all real numbers. It is a one-to-one -one function. It passes through the point 1, 0 and there is no y-intercept. The vertical asymptote is the line x equals 0 and there is no horizontal asymptote. Here are some strategies to graph logarithmic functions. Express the logarithmic function to its exponential form. Then create a table of values using the function and then plot the points on a rectangular coordinate system and then lastly connect the points using a smooth curve. Let us have some examples. Sketch the graph of y is equal to logarithm of x to the base 2. First, let us change the function to its exponential form, x is equal to 2 raised to y. And then, set a table of values, but this time, assigning values for y. So, we have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Like in the exponential function, this is the most convenient uh, set of values for y. And then solve for values of x. If y is equal to negative 2, then x is equal to 2 raised to negative 2. That will be 1 fourth. If y is equal to negative 1, then x is equal to 2 raised to negative 1. And that will be 1 half. If x is equal to 0, then that will be 2 raised to 0 equal to 1. If y is equal to 1, x will be equal to 2 raised to 1, and that is 2. If y is equal to 2, then x is equal to 2 raised to 2, and that is 4. Now let us plot the points on a rectangular coordinate system. We have 1 fourth negative 2, 1 half negative 1, 1 0, 2, 1, and then 4, 2. Lastly, connect these points using a smooth curve. So this is the graph of y is equal to logarithm of x to the base 2. Let us recall the properties. So we see that the domain is the set of all positive real numbers because there is no point on the graph for which x is equal to 0 or negative. Next, the range is the set of all real numbers. So we see that as x increases, y value increases un until positive infinity. And then, as x approaches 0 from the right, 
the value for y decreases without bound it is a one-to-one -one function so if we're going to use the horizontal line test on the graph representing y is equal to logarithm of x base 2 the horizontal line will pass through the graph at a single point therefore this is a one-to-one -one function next the graph of logarithmic function of the form y is equal to logarithm of x to the base b always passes through the point 1 0 so this is y is equal to logarithm of x to the base 2 the point 1 0 is in the graph representing the function it has no y intercept because there is no point on the graph for which it passes through the y-axis. As x approaches 0 from the right, the value for y decreases without bound, so there is no y-intercept. The vertical asymptote is the line x equals 0. Since there is no y-intercept, and as the value of x approaches 0, from the right, the value of y decreases without bounds. Therefore, the line x equals 0 or the y-axis is the vertical asymptote. There is no horizontal asymptote. Since the range of the function is the set of all real numbers, hence there is no horizontal asymptote. Let us have example number 2. Sketch the graph of y is equal to logarithm of x to the base 1 half. Again, let us change this to its exponential form. That will be 1 half raised to y is equal to x. And then create a table of values for x and y. Assigning values for y. That will be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2 and then solving for the values of x if y is equal to negative 2 then x is equal to 1 half raised to negative 2 and that will be the reciprocal of 1 half which is 2 raised to 2 and that is 4 if y is equal to negative 1 then x will be equal to 2 if y is equal to 0 then x is equal to 1 if y is equal to 1, then x is equal to 1 half. If y equals 2, then x is equal to 1 fourth. And then we are ready to plot these points on the rectangular coordinate system. We have 4, negative 2, 2, negative 1, 1, 0, 1 half, 1, 1 fourth, 2. Then connect these points using a smooth curve. Then we have the graph of y is equal to logarithm of x to the base 1 half. So you see that all the properties of the logarithmic function of the form y is equal to logarithm of x to the base b are satisfied by this graph. There is one difference though. Let us compare the graphs of y is equal to logarithm of x base 2 and y is equal to logarithm of x to the base 1 half. So we will observe that when b is greater than 1, the function is defined only for x is greater than 0. The function is strictly increasing and attains all real values as x approaches 0 from the right the function decreases without bound while for y is equal to logarithm of x to the base one half when b is between 0 and 1 still it can be observed that the function defined only for x is greater than 0 and the function is strictly decreasing attains all real values 
as x approaches 0 from the right, the function increases without bound. Okay, let us have the relationship between the graphs of logarithmic and exponential function. Observe that since the logarithmic and exponential functions are inverses of each other, their graphs are reflections of each other about the line y is equal to x. Both for when b is greater than 1 and when b is between 0 and 1. Okay, for part 2 on this video of graphing logarithmic functions, we will take graphing transformations of logarithmic functions. For exercises on this topic, you may download from the link given on the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math lessons.